Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel today for another review. And today we're reviewing another film from the Shutter app. I have absolutely fell in love with the Shutter app in 2020, and I could not wait to see what they were going to bring in 2021. And the first film I checked out this year from Shutter as a Shutter original is Haunted, which is going to be releasing January 14th. And I really, really love this film. I loved it because it was different, and I also loved because it it paid homage to an old folklore and folktale of Red Robin Hood and gave it its own new take, really refreshing, really modern, um, and really channeling um, a lot of, you know, when you think about the premise of Red Robin Hood with the wolves, uh, you know, obviously uh, tr trying to pursue her and track her down and whatever it may be, um, being able to, like, bring in a really modern take on that um, I think it's really special, and I think that more ways than enough, like, it really resonates with, with a lot of people. Not to mention, too, I've been, like, a really big fan of uh, of a lot of television from the ID channel, so, like, murder mysteries and all that other stuff. I'm always fans of that that type of storytelling, considering that Red Robin Hood is essentially <laughs> one of those type of profiles that fit in that. Um, going into this, I did not know exactly what was going to be about this. But indeed, coming out, I'm like, wow, that that was pretty cool. So like, I love the the really the new refreshing take on it. Um, and, but at the same time, still keeping, um, still making it its own. So I definitely appreciated that. I'm gonna start off by talking about the protagonist here, and um, and uh, excuse me, I'm gonna start off talking about the antagonist here and Christian Bontrager. I mean, first of all, this dude is a complete savage in this. Like I. Don't think I had any clue how much he was going to elevate his role throughout this, the entirety of this film. He came off a little bit. I mean, he, he came off as a creep, number one. Really sleazy. Then he came off as a predator and, like, really typical predator things. But then he just turned it up and just complete savage, just really brutal and just constantly built my anger towards him the entire time, which is an excellent job in his performance there. And then across from him is the protagonist, uh, played by Eve Dubay, who plays Eve, who also matches that same energy, who was the damsel in distress, who you just rooted for, who you almost at times kind of lost faith and thought it was just over, to the point that you start rooting for her, and then she decides she's going to start kicking some ass. So, like, it was really cool element between the two of them as your two leads to this film. Um, and they, you know, even at times, I will say, even like in the middle of the film, uh, where it, you you may want to start, I ain't gonna say you may want to, but you may potentially start to lose interest immediately after it just kicks into another drive and it just ultimately goes down a really, a really sadistic path. And I would even say that even the final phase, uh, the final act, it gets a little comical, but at the same time too, um, it's still super enjoyable. And it tells a story. It tells a good story. Obviously, again. The, you know, with primal violence and the predator versus prey and typically the predators chasing prey, but roles gets reversed. So like, it's pretty cool on that. And like, I love how the storytelling in the beginning where they kind of like explain this folk legend um, and, and so on, how everything really comes full circle at the same time too. I feel like the movie just kind of ended and like it ended in a way where it was just like, okay, but it served the message it was trying to say. Like, there was really no way of ending this, the movie, to be honest. It just was just like, once you once you get the whole theme of everything, then it's just like the end. So, like, I get what it was aiming for. And, like, it was, it was it, I thought it was executed really well. But at the same time, too, you know, for the, as, the, the aspect of, uh, of enjoying the story and, and really being invested into the characters, it's always the idea of, like, what happens next? Because you don't really get that kind of resolution uh, at the end. I was not a fan of the score here. I felt like the score drowned the movie out. At times, it was so loud that you kind of miss uh, some of the action because, like, on the other hand, the sounds were super chilling in this. And so when they were elevated, it was just completely gives you all the spine chilling and, and skin crawling from it. So, like, when the score got too loud, it, it kind of diffused that, which... I don't think it was uh I don't I wasn't a fan of it all. And then yes, there was holes in the in the plot without a doubt, but it didn't take away from the enjoyment. So at the same time too, it's just a really entertaining uh, film. Um it's it it again it has its own new refreshing take on this classic story and it and again it does tackle like really um things I think a lot of people can resonate with as far as 
uh, how people prey on people and like who are truly you know monsters and who's like should i say who's truly the wolves in the situation and who's truly red robin hood and how roles could be reversed and all that other stuff so like it, it it's super enjoyable for sure and not to mention this braveheart um how they paid homage to braveheart which i thought was really unique and um pretty clever as well too so like i i, I love a good tribute and i thought that what they did for Braveheart in this movie was uh was was pretty unique for sure. But this is dropping on Shutter. By now you should have Shutter, especially if you subscribe to my channel. Uh, this is dropping January 14th. Haunted, check this out. Please let me know in the comments what you thought about this film, and uh, I'll be back for more reviews, especially from Shutter, because I got another one dropping very soon. Thank you for watching, folks, and I'll see you then.